when I heard him speak, completely blew me out of the water and was more life-changing than any experience that I had ever had, ever. I went into this crazy cosmic state. I'd never experienced anything like it since I was 16 years old and I took LSD. Andrew was very you know, charismatic. That really resonated with me and I moved into a group home with other students. Old people, young people, middle-aged people. There were people from all over the world, it seemed. We gave up our volition, we gave up our complete trust to Andrew. When people tried to leave, they were, we tried to prevent them from doing so. They've done 25 years. They dedicated their lives to it. They've been all celibate, shaved their heads. They've been doing millions of hours of meditation, prostrations, extraordinary acts of spiritual dedication and commitment. These guys are masters, and yet they're being treated like children. Anything that we did was bad was our own fault. Anything that was good wasn't us to it was Andrew, it was all Andrew. People were financially strapped because they were following him. They were supporting his dream. They were doing everything for him. Sometimes those responses would be spiritual extortion be in the form of $10,000 checks. He went from waking everyone up and then he behind the scenes and he was impatient, hardcore, cussing, swearing, irreverent. He became a completely different person. Things had gotten much worse and were going in a trend that sounded really dangerous to me. Andrew had the doctor go to him and say, Andrew's gonna take you up on this finger amputation. I remember shaking with such intensity that you felt like your teeth were going to break. Her skin turned blue, her jaw locked up. She couldn't move, all she could do was cling to the edge. They all agreed they needed to confront Andrew and that Andrew had to be stopped. This thing might fall apart. All of a sudden, we started to feel this taste of freedom. Maybe this can all end. This, I'm out. I have been dealing with this bullshit for so many years. He was the guide to my deepest experiences and the person who caused the most pain. We've always been joking about being part of a cult, but no, we're really part of a cult, like, like a cult cult, like a check off every single box cult. He totally does revel in the sense of public humiliation. I would never wish this kind of experience on anybody. Hey, hey. Just keep. I want to get a sense of your shot. What is your, what is your role? I'm Andrew Cohen, and I'm a spiritual teacher.